In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your native script app with push notifications for Android. Let's start with the fresh project. And for this video, we're going to use the Svelte native project. We're going to create a new project from the instructions on the website. We're going to go to our sites folder, paste the line for creating project. That's mpx digit from Svelte native template. And we're going to call our project native push Android. Let's hop on there, do an npm install. Here are my node and native script version at the time of this recording. And we're going to start the app just to make sure everything is fine. So we're going to do ns run Android and I need to pass on my device as an argument. Let's move this over here. And as we can see, our app has successfully launched. We can now go to the VS Code. So in the VS Code, you'll see the basic structure for the Svelte native app. What we are interested in currently is the app Svelte file that has the boilerplate. We care about action bar. We don't care about the layout. So I'm going to leave only the action bar, remove the styling, and I can even remove the script tag for now. And let me just bring the simulator so we can follow what's happening and make it float on top. Let's go to our terminal, restart the app, and we should just see the action bar and the empty page. Cool. So now we need to add a native script plugin Firebase that we're going to use to receive push notifications. Okay, so I'm going to stop the app so I can add the plugin. We are going to use Android. We don't need most of the Firebase related questions because we're going to have the simplest possible setup. And we're going to use this plugin as a non Firebase closed messaging push service because that's the simplest setup. So, again, most of the questions here are just no. And you can save the configuration if you want. Okay, cool. Now you should go to your app.ts file. And on the top of the document, you should require the plugin. Important things to note is to not import but to require because that's how the plugin author says. Then we should come back to our app.svelt file. Add the script tags that we removed previously and import messaging from the plugin. Then we can use the messaging to register for push notifications. And there we need to set up the two callbacks. First is on push token received callback, where we will receive the unique ID token of the device so we can later use it to send notifications to. Second callback is the on message received callback, which is actually optional because I assume that you want to receive the push notification while the app is in background. But this will fire when the push notification is received, so we can console log the output. Okay, so before we start the app, we need to do one more thing. We need to go to our Google Firebase account. And if you don't have the account, you need to register. When you create an account, then you need to create a project. We'll call our project native script demo. And we don't need Google Analytics. And once the project is created, we need to add an app. Our app is going to be Android. To add the package name, that should be your domain written backwards with the subdomain as your app name. In our case, that's native push Android. And the app nickname is native push Android. We then need to register the app. And download the Google Services JSON, which you need to add to your app resources.android folder. And the Google Services.json basically contains your project ID, project client info, your API key, and all the information needed so your native script app can be registered to receive push notifications. Okay, so after that, you should go to your native script config.ts file and update the ID to match your ID that you set up for the package name. Now we should be able to restart the app to see if we're going to get the device token. Yeah, as you can see, the device token is printed out here in the terminal. And we're going to use that when we test out the push notifications. Testing out push notifications for Android is fairly easy. You just need to do a post request to, to fcm.googleapis. Our content type is going to be application JSON, and we need to add our authorization header that will contain a key that you should find in your Firebase console. Go to your project overview on your project settings, 
and it should be under cloud messaging. We're just going to copy that out and paste it here. The body of the request is just simple JSON. First is going to have a two and that's going to be our device token that we're going to pull from here. Then we'll have a notification attribute, which is object, and that will contain a title. And we'll say hello from native script. And it can also contain a text. And I think this should be the minimum set of information for us to be able to send the push notification. Let's close our app and open our notification panel. And with any lock, we have a 200 OK. And as you can see, we have a hello from native script. This is our push notification message. So yeah, this is the bare minimum that you need to send a push notification to your Android device through native script.